Hey guys, Jayesh here from the Engineer's Guide. At the end of this video, you'll learn how to use the Follow Me tool and Offset tool. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos from the training series. Without further ado, let's get started. So first tool we'll learn is the offset tool. Let me make a rectangle here so that I can demonstrate it. The command for rectangle is R. And uh, so let's say I want to make another rectangle which is one feet away from this rectangle. So I can use the offset tool. The command for offset is F. Then you've got to select the surface which you want to offset. In our case, it is this entire rectangle. So just click anywhere inside the rectangle. And since we want the offset to be outside, so drag your mouse outside and specify the distance. In our case, it is one feet. So one followed by a single apostrophe for feet and press enter. So now we've made another rectangle, which is one feet away from this rectangle. Let's say we want to make a rectangle, which is one feet inside this rectangle. Again, select anywhere inside this rectangle and then specify one feet and press enter. So as you can see that now, we have made two different rectangles using the offset tool. This is the original rectangle, the middle one. And we have created an offset at one feet away from the middle line and one feet inside the middle line. So this is how you guys can use the offset tool. There isn't uh, much you guys need to know about it for the time being. So, so now let's jump into the follow me tool. You can access the follow me. It's uh, in the top ribbon. The follow me tool is not given, so you can access it by clicking on the tools, and uh, it is just below the push pull command follow me. So let me make a circle over here to demonstrate how you can use the follow me. Let us make a circle over here, and what I want is I want this entire circle to follow this line, this entire rectangle, basically the path of this rectangle. That is this line then this line then this line and then this line so basically it will make a rectangular tube so for that uh, i have got to select the entire uh, i've got to select the lines which our parent shape has to follow in our case it is the edges of this rectangle so let me select the entire rectangle to do that just click double click on the rectangle surface and entire rectangle is created is selected now go in the tools select the follow me command and then You've got to select the surface which has to follow this path. In our case, it is the circle. So just click on it. And as you can see, clearly you now you can see what has happened. The quarter circle followed this entire rectangle and made this pattern. To demonstrate the use again, let me make an arc first. Let me clear the entire sheet first. Now make an arc. Now what I want is, now let me make a center rectangle. Now what I want is, I want this rectangle to follow this uh, arc path. So first I've got to select the arc, then go in tools, select the or select the follow me tool and then select the object which I, which has to follow this path. In our case, it is the rectangle. So just left click on the rectangle. And as you can see that it has followed, the rectangle has followed the arc and we've got the shape. So follow me tool can be used to make uh, intricate and very difficult shapes. If you haven't watched any previous videos from the training series, I'll drop the link in the description and also drop some cards. Make sure you check that out. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos from the training series. Thank you for watching guys. Thank you.